Hey guys, so welcome to your You versus All 12 signs reading for Libra. This is going to be for your October 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. Um, so um, so uh, just a quick note that these messages, especially the 12 signs portion, it's not timestamps because these messages are so quick. Uh, but if someone wants to timestamp for me, uh, for for me, you can, you're more than welcome to do that. So uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the, no hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new, new videos, when my new videos post and when I go live. Um, I do also go live uh, not only on my YouTube channel, but also my Instagram page. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, follow me on my Instagram page or my TikTok. Uh, the links for those are in the description box below. Okay, so um, let's get started. Libra. What's going on with Libra? What's going on with Libra? Libra. Let's tell me about Libra in October. What's going on with Libra in October? Tell me about Libra in October. Libra in October. Tell me about Libra in October. What's going on with Libra in October? We have the Emperor in the reverse that jumped out here. I don't know, Libra. There's a sense of losing some sort of control here, okay? Things are just not really orderly. Uh, there's a sense of maybe feeling lost here at this time. Justice, Libra energy. I don't know. I mean, someone here might not be feeling really that great about themselves, or someone here might be feeling really angry about something that was unfair, unjust here. Now, maybe someone here did something that was unfair to you. Uh, it could be that maybe there was a legal matter where the justice system might have, you feel like the justice system might have failed you here. There was a decision that was made that is making somebody very upset here, Libra, okay? So keep in mind that these messages could apply to someone that's in or around your life here too. Uh, it doesn't have to be you, you know? Uh, the uh, the higher fit in the reverse, Taurus energy here. Wow. The Queen of Wands, Aries. Something happened here that was unfair. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what quite... I, I'm not quite sure what happened with the legal matter here, but I feel like the, the, the legal system got involved, police got involved and stuff like that. But whatever this is, I feel like this was a decision that was... just didn't go in someone's favor here, Libra. Uh, we have the star card, Aquarius Energy. And a ton of cups. Whatever this decision has been made here, it does go in someone's favor here. Yeah. Maybe it was a custody battle. Yeah, maybe someone here lost custody of their ch child or something like that. But someone here has gained full custody. I feel like the person that has gained full custody is this Queen of Wands here. So I do get the sense that whatever decision is being made here for one person, now it's that time of recovery. Now it's the time to heal. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Talking about the emperor in the reverse. I mean, this could be a, like a like a former spouse or something like that that treated you very horribly. I mean, that emperor in the reverse is someone who, who's very narcissistic. Yeah, the justice card. Yeah, very narcissistic, very egotistical. I feel like this person is like embarrassed or that this person's hiding now because um, maybe, you know, you kind of proved them wrong or something like that or that you kind of beat them to their game whatever game that they were playing here. But whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual to, that, that's still bothering you from a distance here. Maybe they're testing you, texting you. Maybe they're texting you from another number. They're texting you from like a fake account or something like that. But whoever this is, I do feel like this is a very controlling individual here. A very powerful individual too. But I feel like maybe, you know, the judge maybe saw right through this person. Yeah, because this person's definitely a liar here. This person provided a lot of false, or will provide a lot of false, um, false uh, details, or like false um, something. Like, yeah, stuff, stuff that materials uh, for like cases, like, I don't know, I, I'm forgetting the word, but you know, this person will provide false things. The world's card. Yeah, this is over here. 
the clouds being lifted. I feel like this was a long drawn out battle here. Uh, this was a long drawn out battle here for you, uh, Libra. We had a star card and a death card, Scorpio energy, the ten of cups here, and the two of pentacles. Yeah, I, I do feel like, you know, th there's closure here. Uh, there's no worry anymore. I feel like you could heal if there's children here. I do feel like this is going to be like a happy, stable, balanced situation moving forward. Okay? Tell me about Libra versus all 12 signs. Tell me about Libra versus all 12 signs. Tell me about Libra versus all 12 signs. Some of you guys could have gone through a huge spiritual awakening through this experience here too. Let's talk about Aries. Uh, it's Libra versus all 12 signs from Aries all the way to Libra. <laughs> Aries all the way to Pisces. What? All right. Libra versus an Aries here. We have the Four of Wands and then we have the Seven of Swords here. Whoever this is. This Aries is incredibly deceptive here, okay? Uh, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person might not be as fortunate as you. Maybe this person is living in your space uh, and, and this person is taking full advantage of you. I don't know why. Some of you guys might own, a, own your own home and they feel like this home is like an investment here and they feel like there's a squatter in the home. They won't leave, all right? Um... Libra versus a Taurus. We have the uh, Queen of Cups here and the Fool. Uh, this person's in love with you, okay? However this is, I feel like this person is ready to take a leap of faith here with you, okay? Um, Libra versus a Gemini here with the Emperor here and the world. Um, there's a cycle closing out with this individual. Yeah, whoever this is, uh, maybe maybe you're, maybe this is the person that you're divorcing or that, that you, you have a legal matter here with. But whoever this is, this cycle is ending with this individual. Um, Libra versus uh, a, 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 a Cancer here with the Lovers here and the Strength card. You guys have, have a very, very, very strong soulmate connection here. A strong bond. There's definitely a strong sexual attraction towards each other here too, okay? And I feel like between you and this person, um, Libra, the sex is really great also. Libra versus a Leo here with a ton of cups here and a page of cups. Seems like this person is definitely offering you have happily ever after here, okay? Uh, Libra versus a Virgo here with a king of wands here and the four of cups. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is definitely missing you here. This person is definitely looking for your attention. Yeah, whoever this is. I feel like this person could be on social media putting up, posting up these memes about love and about missing someone and you could be seeing them and they're trying to get your attention here. Libra versus a Libra here with a double card here and the hangman. Whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual that's very codependent and very needy here. And I feel like this person is glued to, you, glued to the hip with you, okay? So... <clears throat> Libra versus a Scorpio here with a ton of pentacles here and a three of wands. This person sees a future here with you. Yeah, this person sees a future here with you. This person's definitely planning marriage here, okay? Libra versus a Sagittarius here. We have the Knight of Swords here and the Chariot. Um, whoever this is, um, this person might be moving a little bit too quickly for you and I feel like some of you guys want, might want to pump pump the brakes on the situation here, okay? I, I, I feel like this person's too much energy for you. They t might talk a million miles an hour or that they move too quickly. Libra versus a Capricorn here with the Five of Swords here and the Six of Cups. Um, whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual that's missing you a lot. Yeah, they're, they, they, I feel like they want to come back around and speak with you here, uh, but I feel like this person's insecure about coming to speak with you. I do feel like this person has communication issues. Uh, Libra versus Aquarius here with the Seven of Pentacles here and the Ace of Swords. Whoever this is, I feel like this person's definitely realizing some sort of mistake that they made here with you, and I feel like this person wants to talk to you about it. Libra versus a Pisces here with the Page of Pentacles here and the Six of Pentacles. Um, this person's breadcrumbing you. Uh, yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person doesn't really have a lot to give, all right? So Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.